What do you remember about that training camp to get ready for your first title fight? I was overworked. There was a lot of just issues and a lot of conflict with people. But you still get in there with Max. Live from Scotiabank Center in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, this is UFC 231, Holloway versus Ortega. And you go four hard rounds. He is taking a beating, but man, this kid has heart. The heart of Brian Ortega, you just, you, you can't deny it. And then it stopped. That might be it, that's it, that's, that's it. it. Max Holloway has retained his UFC featherweight championship. Brian Ortega unable to enter the form for a fifth round. I was hoping that either the referee or the corner was gonna stop that fight. That's what you call too tough for your own good. And then after that, it was just like, this is what defeat feels like. And then you're like, now what? Now we have to rebuild. What needed to be weeded out? Energy, people, the mindsets. He changed his entire training camp, changes coaches, and changes training methods. Sometimes you gotta make these difficult decisions. What's well, different? The energy. I have the team that I want. I have the coaching that I need. Zombie in the red. Ortega in the black. Here we go. This one is for a shot at Alexander Volkanovsky. We see Eddie Char in the corner. Oh. Well, Brian Ortega just hurt him there. Because right now, the Korean Zombie's having a better... Oh. Brian Ortega knocks it down with a spinning elbow. Reads him coming in. Oh, oh Brian Ortega looks fantastic tonight. Your winner by unanimous decision, Brian T. City Ortega! How big is this moment for you to get back in the win column, put that last one behind, and, and show all the doubters that, that you're still here? I mean, it felt great to have this happen again. Here are the bodies that this guy's collecting. Fat Tavares, Diego Brandao, Clay Guida. Renato Moicano. Here's the tap, T. City! Cub Swanson. Frank Edgar. Frank is in trouble. Ortega with a combination. Oh! T City! Wow! And the Korean zombie. Not only did he mute any of the naysayers that were out there, but he introduced a second version that looks very capable of beating the champion Alexander Volkanovsky. Sydney's own Alex Volkanovsky, who's set to take on Max Holloway and challenge him for the UFC featherweight title at UFC 245 on December 15th. You've been on quite the journey to sort of get this fight finally booked in and locked in. Taking out someone like Chad Mendes. Mendes comes it. down! That's it! Alexander wow. the Great has arrived! Aldo. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. I want to know how you're feeling with this shock of breaking the King of Rio. Enough of my respect, you're a legend. As you said, the King of Rio, you're the greatest featherweight of all time. It's just a huge win for me. You know, we all know what I want next, and you know, I want that title. Here we go. Holloway has not lost at 145 pounds since he was beaten on points by Conor McGregor. That was over six years ago. Of course, on the other side, you got Volkanovski. Well, he's 20 and one, seven and zero in the UFC. Wins over Mendez and Aldo, 17 straight overall. I've got to do my thing December 14th. I think the blessed era ends, and you know what I mean? It's my time. Las Vegas, Nevada! It is the final UFC pay-per-view of the decade, and man is the MMA leader blowing it out tonight. Okay, fighters, gone over the rules on the back. There were no final questions from you, Blue. There were no final questions from you, Red. If you want to touch gloves again, do it now. Come on, ready to fight. It was a very close fight. Each round was close. They have studied Max Holloway's game very well. Alexander Volkanovsky did his homework just a little bit better than Max Holloway. It's a tough fight to score. It was very close. Alexander Volkanovsky and Max Holloway go the distance. What a fight. What a fight. I have no idea who won the fight. And no! Look, oh, I just want to say we've had great champions in this division. Aldo, great respectful champion. Max, great respectful champion. I promise to be a great champion too. It's starting to sink in now as I'm talking to you, you know, what I've done. What do you think comes next for him? As Dana just said, there might be a rematch. And, uh, you know, that'll make for a big fight. Alexander Volkanovsky versus Max Holloway, too. After five rounds, we go to the judges for a decision. And... 
listen, it was an incredible fight back and forth. Both men giving it everything they had. And this was such a close fight. This was a huge win for him. And happy to finish the chapter. Who in this division has your eye right now? Like I said, I've got all of them. I've got my eye on these contenders. He is the champion chasing the contenders. Kind of like a king on conquest. Like a king trying to take over everybody's land before they come to him first. Those boys at City Kickboxing, they're a problem. He's already beaten three of the five greatest featherweights of all time. Jose Aldo, Chad Mendes, and Max Holloway. Not once, but twice. You're 22 and one. You've won 19 consecutive fights. Alexander the Great! And hey, I'm telling you, I'm going to stay champion for a long time. Whoever's next, or Tiger, Zombie, number one contender, bring it on. I want to bring back that Hanato Moicano fight, UFC 214. You said on the mic, if I'm going to lose, I want to know how. He was taking a beating. And as we sit here, you've lost. Yes, and, and you know I know how. how. It showed me everything, man. It taught me a lot. How important then is getting back to that title shot? I know I could be better than that. The champion Alexander Volkanovsky, all he was asking for is somebody to step up and make themselves the true clear-cut number one contender. But nobody expected such a revamped striking game. He was just a completely new man out there. I was counted out, you know, and I understand you leave the game for two years and you get counted out, but I'm here to remind everyone. So we know what's next, title shot, or at least that's what we assume right now. I don't know who would win that fight, but man, I want to see it, and I think the fans deserve it. Hopefully that's the next one that they make. Well, Tiger 2.0, they're saying, so, you know, it's an exciting new challenge for me, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Alex Volkanovski and Brian Ortega. I love this fight. What a phenomenal matchup and much more interesting now after seeing Brian Ortega's dismantling of the Korean zombie in his last fight. He introduced a second version that looks very capable of beating the champion Alexander Volkanovski. Anyone that knows me and anyone that knows the game knows that I don't let you just do your thing. You are fighting my fight. Every single time we see Volkanovski fight, it's a different Volkanovski. The Volkanovski you saw against the two Max fights, the Aldo fight, the Chad Mendes fight is not the Volkanovski you're going to see fight Brian Ortega. UFC Ultimate Fighter 29, a little bit of heat there between you and Brian Ortega. He was late every session. You said he was taking selfies outside or something. There was that moment where he said, you're on my time. It's just little stupid remarks like that just really shows his true colors. This heat is real. Be professional. If not, I'm going to swing back. It's about to go down. Live inside the T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. This is the fight. This is a long time coming. And we're going to give you guys the show that you guys been waiting for. Everything comes at its own time. Right on Tango, ladies and gentlemen. You just beat one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world and became the first man to stop Frankie Edgar. Oh! Knocked out for Ortega! And uh, my time's going to come. Alexander Volkanovski, you have just defeated the greatest featherweight champion of all time. This is what we do. This is what we always look forward to. I'm going to stay champion for a long time. I fought so many demons. I fought so many battles to be able to get here. Once I get in that octagon, there's a job that needs to be done. I'm going to put him away. My job is to finish it. Australia, I'm bringing it back home, baby. It's time now. Bring it on. This is your chance right now.